If you've done any work color grading your videos, you've probably come across the concept of a LUT or lookup table, which is a settings file that lets you instantly change the look of your footage. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your own LUT file in Adobe Premiere so you can save the look that you want and use it across multiple videos. LUT, L-U-T, is an acronym for lookup table. And the idea behind it is that it will look up the color of each pixel in your footage and translate it to a new color that it finds in the lookup table. For example, let's say one particular pixel in your footage is this color. Premiere will look it up in the lookup table and find that every time it sees this color, it should translate it to this color. And it'll do that for every possible color that a pixel in your footage might be. The end result is that you can instantly change the look of the footage you have just by translating these colors into new color equivalents. Now LUTs are popular for two main reasons. The first reason is that they're really convenient. You just apply a LUT and your footage instantly changes. You don't have to go through manually step-by-step -step changing a bunch of different settings in the Lumetri color panel. You just apply a LUT and all your changes show up there. The second reason is that they're very shareable. It's a simple file that you can give to someone else and basically give them the same transformations that you use on your own footage. So if you like how it works out for you, you can give that LUT to someone else and they can use it on their footage. So once you're a big star and everyone wants to recreate your look, you can export your look as a LUT file, sell it online and make a million dollars. So how do you do it? As with so many things in life, the answer lies in the Lumetri color panel. So here's a clip of some random footage, and I'm gonna go ahead and make some creative color changes to it. Okay, that looks cool. Now if you go up to the Lumetri color tab menu up there, the three lines icon that I always forget about, you'll see that there are options to export a look file and export a cube file. A Lumetri look file will capture all of your Lumetri settings and allow you to recreate them easily on future projects. The catch is that they're really only intended for use with Adobe products. If you're planning to use these only for your own convenience or you're gonna share them with other people who are also using Adobe products, this is probably the right option for you. Now, exporting a cube file will save your settings in the more universal lookup table format. This won't capture everything. For example, vignette settings won't carry over but it'll get the gist of it and put everything into a standard LUT format that can be used by other applications as well. If you're planning to publish or sell your LUTs, this is probably the right option for you. For our purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and export as a cube file. Now that we've exported the LUT, let's open some new footage and see how it works. You can import the LUT under the basic corrections section of the Lumetri panel by selecting browse from the menu. However, these LUTs are more appropriate for color correction LUTs, such as fixing weird colors from a particular camera. If your LUT is more oriented toward color grading, you should generally import it down here under the creative section. This has the added benefit of letting you use the intensity slider to control how much you want to apply the LUT. So we've applied the LUT to the new footage, and as you can see, the look has carried across. We originally created this piece by piece in the Lumetri color panel, but now all we have to do in the future is just apply this LUT to any footage we want to give it that same look. So that's how you create a LUT using Adobe Premiere. You set up the color settings however you want using the Lumetri color panel, export it as a cube file, and then you can apply that LUT to any of your future footage. It's a pretty universal format that works with a lot of other software applications, not just Adobe products. So it's a great format to condense a whole look down into a single file and either share it with other people or just use it for your own convenience. If you like this color grading stuff, you should check out some of the other videos on my channel and maybe consider hitting that subscribe button.